from the Buffalo Challenger. They terminated the visit about two minutes in. Dude. And that was my first time seeing my children in a month. Jesus. Is there something that's missing here? Is there anything that's missing yes. here? Or is yes. this just yes. black and white? There's nothing missing. I feel yes. like I'm being targeted because of my political views and because of my views about the black community and me trying to empower the black community and being a community activist. Have you been participating in other activities? Yes. Okay. What activities do you feel that, you know, got into the hands of some people? I feel that I'm very uh, outspoken and boisterous about the plight of our people in the community. And I've made that public throughout recent years. And I think they uh, caught wind of that and they feel personally offended. Who is they? These agencies. The people who work in the agencies. Do specifically you, the social workers. Do you blame? Because I was being stalked on my social media account. And those allegations are in the petition. They mention uh, my social media account every time I go to court and they feel offended and threatened by my posts. And your children were with you all along. They never have been taken away. Never. They've never spent more than 24 hours away from me. And the reason you wanted to homeschool them was why? There, was, there were several reasons, but the main reason is because they were not excelling in the school system. Um, just like most of their other peers, they were uh, falling in between the cracks. Um, I, can I say something serious? Yes. I know, sitting right here. I, I just hope that we don't get into this victim blaming type of mentality. I, I, it doesn't matter what her past was, what her arrest record was. What in this? First of all, she, all of, she's clean, all of that stuff. But it doesn't matter. Like you get to homeschool your kids. Period. You filed the right paperwork. You filed it on time. You don't get punished for that. And it doesn't matter your history of anything. Your kids can take vacations for two weeks out the year from you. It don't matter. Like, dear, you are a good mom. You just trying to do the best for your kids. So, I, I don't. I, I know the media likes to do that. They dig in, like, okay, well, she used to do this, or this back in the day, this. No, that don't matter. You the victim. And, and you know, we just here to support you. Yeah, you. Can you tell me why you fired um, your lawyer? Um, I thought there was a conflict of interest that was that uh, on behalf of CPS protocol was not followed because the only way that children should ever be removed from the home according to their policy and procedure is for imminent danger and my children were never in any imminent danger and there was no evidence of that it was only educational neglect they were never in any imminent danger there was never any physical danger or abuse to them and they did not follow procedure nothing was offered to me no interventions no parenting classes or anything like that and that should have been the first step. And they skipped several steps in the process. And they immediately did the most invasive and most harmful thing they could do to a child. Can you tell us how your kids are feeling right now? What were they like when you saw them for the first time yesterday? They were extremely excited to see me. And, of course, it was heart-wrenching when the visit was ended two minutes into the visit. Mm. Wow. It sounds like you're being punished. It sounds like they're continuously trying to punish you. Um... What would you like to see happen? I just want my children returned. I'm willing to, if they want to further investigate me, even though they've done enough damage, I'm open to that. But at this point, like I said, need, they need to do damage control and bring my children back home where they belong. That's right. My children are very depressed. They call me crying all the time. They miss me. They miss home. They miss their old lifestyle. They've been put into a new school, a new school district. They've been forced to make new friends and they're on a school bus for three hours a day because they go to school in Nakamana and they live in Buffalo with my mother. They ride an hour and a half every day to school and an hour and a half, and a half home every day from school. I just would like to highlight that this is not just a misrepresentation or a harm that's done to just this mother. There's people in this in this agency that are doing this to multiple families repeatedly over and over and it's a, it's disenfranchised because it's our people that they're it's our people that they're um, are targeting. 
So CPS education will be like, uh -huh, but it'll be other something else for someone else's family. They continuously do this, and this is only bringing awareness to something that has been a perpetual problem in our community for over 20 years. And if we ha if we sit here and, and, and go through each and every one of these people that are out here, they've been disenfranchised and, di and, and injured, injured by this family court system and CPS. Because they continuously, on a subjective level, on a subjective level, they decide by per every person gets to decide what they think about a family. What, what their standards are is what they're trying to put their standards on us. So if a person doesn't believe in homeschooling and they are opposed to it, they are continuously saying, well, th this bl black and brown community shouldn't educate their children at home because I personally don't believe in it. And that's how, this is what this is about, is that one person was personally offended by the fact that she um, is open talking about the, the, our community and what's, what's going on in our community and then on top of that layering it with the fact that she also wants to homeschool her children so by saying that they don't want her children to learn about what's, what's our plight and so this is what this is about that they can subjectively pick out your child and your family and ruin your family it's happened this is not the first case this is just the one that's being highlighted today yes, but if you look around here people are here because it's happened to them and you can be a victim too. And and, and sometimes it's not even um, the it's not necessary just the black and, black and brown community. It's also the white communities that are going through this. And there's plenty of people who have gone through what what she's going through now on different levels. If you have your resources, and you have money. It's a little easier to get out of it. In this situation, they they're targeting her because she is low income, because she is asking for. She's done all the right things, but because of her skin color, they determined that she didn't do the right thing. And you know what? The last thing I want to say is that so many people, including the judge and every CPS worker, could stand up and say, this is it. We made a mistake and we're backing out. But they're refusing to do that because their ego takes over yeah. doing what's right. And that's what this is about. Is that you're so egotistic and so into your power that you don't want to make this right. And we're telling you today, make it right and stop making a fool out of Buffalo. Stop making fool out of this community. And stop wasting stop taxpayer dollars. Stop wasting are, are your Buffalo school dollars, your tax dollars, guess where they're going? To Lackawanna. So who are you fooling? So everybody who's on the bandwagon about this money, homeschooling issue, your money's not even staying here in the Buffalo. That money should be going to this family. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported me. And for people that have been in doubt, I just want to say that the door is now open. They did it to my children. They can do it to your children next because injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I, 